right let me see a program a program to read n integers and perform the sorting between them sorting between them normally sorting of is two types of sortings we are having ascending order and descending order agree now we can perform once you read the input you can perform the ascending order and descending order now performing this ascending order and descending order the sorting it may be sorting is not very happening through with the help of what swapping comparing with the between the two elements is nothing but what if it is less than if it is greater than it will be how make swap to each other this is the way now roughly tell me the procedures tell me the steps which are required for this one one is same declare variables right this is simple statements declare variables read n value create an array of size n read n number of values into the array and computer perform sorting with the help of uh, sorting with the help of swapping and display this sorting array in ascending order this is a normal right so normally declaring variables in the sense to perform this program what are the minimum uh, things we required is we have same as we for uh, repeating the loop we required here when you are comparing one element with the other elements we are need to take two loops right loop concept i for one loop j for another loop for reading n integer size of that n to perform the this one we are going to using regular variable that is temp or any other variable also you can use temp n value and array is already uh, we can create it so these are the minimum variables we required to perform to read n values to read the n number of values to swap it and n we are going to creating and how you are already know how to create an array with the size so normally these are normal steps up to this if you are see the first program this is normal steps just now we have seen this one right normal steps like we are having util package followed by uh, we are going to creating this up to this is common let me see that also how it will be vary from this now coming to the program code now util java dot util scanner this is also be a import is a keyword java is an interpreter util is a package scanner is a class for reading the input agree now you are going to creating an class now based on the task which is performing for that program you are requested to make sure you are going to be requested to make sure you are make requested the program class name should be very close the program name that is the, what is the top uh, sort of program you are going to performing based on that you can give a meaningful class name and followed by the main it is already are aware now int n temp you can declare the i j values here or else you can declare the i j values in the respective loops itself like int i here and int j here itself now coming to that this is n now how to read uh, how to where from where we are going to reading we have to say clearly to the scanner object from system dot in already had discussed that scanner is a class and we are for the purpose of reading the user input now system dot in already we have discussed here what is the purpose of that system dot in for reading the input from the keyboard Okay, this is the explanation part. 
now once you are creating an object yes of a scanner now ask for enter the n number of values enter the values you want in array next how to read the n values with the help of next in we are dealing with the integer values that's why we need to use next in so s dot next in and whatever the input you are reading from the user you need to store and assign in n now once it is done what is the next step create an array of size n right so int a of and equal to new int a of n now enter all the elements enter the all elements into that array how to read the elements the same for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus already you are aware array index starts from 0 and we have to repeat the loop up to n and s dot next int hit assign to a of i each time so up to this is common from the previous program which is done the sum of all integer arguments this is common there is no difference at all any difference except the class name everything is same like we have declared some another extra variable instead of some the temp now we need to perform sorting how to compare the two values from one array to another uh, from the each array what is the sorting first element we need to uh, compare with second element if the first element is greater than the second element swap it if it is not because it is a ascending order this is when you are going to be having the greater than so greater than means how the ascending order will be there normally descending order means in the decreasing order ascending order means in the increasing order it goes on now if first value is greater than with the second value swap it because lower elements to the upper elements is called as ascending order higher elements to the lower elements is called as descending order now how to perform any sorting ascending order means first element will compare with the second element if it is greater than swap it if it is not greater than again compare the first element with the third element next compare if it is a greater than swap it or else first element will compare with the fourth element next similarly first element compare with the fifth element in the this is the, in the first loop for the next loop for the next i equal to one at the time again second value compare with the third element second value compare with the fourth element second value is compare with the fifth element so it is up to n value if you give in as phi it will go for up to phi next the i value two at the time it compare the third value compare with the fourth element third value compare with the fifth element similarly for the next loop i equal to three fourth value compare with the fifth element for the next loop fifth element the same element so there it stops the looping when i am saying i equal to zero it will start the first element with the second element up to the nth element n minus one element now when i am say i equal to two because the array index starts from zero when the i value is one i equal to one means what it is a second value when i equal to zero what is it meaning it is a first value when i equal to two what is it meaning it's a third value when i equal to three what is it meaning it's a fourth value now first value will compare with n minus one elements second if it is a any greater than value now it is swapping this is called a swapping if a of i equal to a of j temp equal to a of i a of i equal to a of j a of j equal to temp this is a normal processor right so next i value one it will compare for next n number of elements now again if it is a greater than swap it or else left it next i value two i value three up to n number of n minus one the loop will repeat and internal loop will be repeat for n minus one for each i value and outer loop will be repeated for n minus one so this will be repeated for n minus one time this will be repeated for n minus one time and this will be repeated j value repeated for n this is the outer loop right n into n into n minus one time because when outer loop will be repeated from zero to n minus one means it is a up to n minus one it is repeat so n minus one into n minus one so anyhow it starts with n zero it repeats for n so it repeats n into n minus one number of times in a loop okay so if it is compare this swap and coming to the display of the output if you want to display the ascending order so we have to do i equal to zero to i less than n minus one because it starts with zero and it repeats up to n minus one now up to that it is display the ascending order now when you want to concatenate already have discussed a of i plus each time when you want to make a comma like 35 comma 45 comma 50 comma 60 comma like this if you want to do make a concatenation separate with comma in the double quotation because comma is a string you have to specify in double quotation so a of i plus comma now this will be repeated for n minus one if the last value is there you can display at the last you can also display here itself that is not a big uh, deal please display at the end everybody in the case and this is how 
if you want to descending order means what from i equal to n from i equal to last value n to i greater than 0 i greater than 0 i greater than 0 i you are going to be from there to you are going in descending order i minus minus from there last to minus 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 you are displaying this because it is array is already in sorted order now we want to display from first to last it is ascending order if you display from last to first it is an descending order if you are displaying from first to last it is an ascending order if you are displaying from last to first it is an descending order okay that is a difference and this is a of zero if you want this is a of zero this is for what descending this is for descending okay so that's about uh, the displaying of elements over here and from i equal to zero ascending i less than n minus one i plus plus and i of n minus one okay so that's about the program uh, performing reading of n integers and perform the sorting between them.